Exhibit 92. This is for James Kremlin. Correct. And same information obtained? Same thing. Exhibit? In the contact column, you can see where interaction status, it says following, and the source Instagram. Okay. Were you able to determine if James Kremlin followed his wife, Jennifer Kremlin's social media accounts as well? Yes. Okay. Here's Exhibit 93. What are we looking at? Uh, another screenshot of an extraction report. Okay. And what does this indicate to you? It shows that uh, J.C. Rum um, following on Instagram. Okay. Username J-E-H-N-C-78? Correct. Okay. And this is Exhibit 94. What does this show? That shows um, in the contact column J.C. Rumley, uh, friend on Facebook. Okay. So we saw from the location data uh, James arriving home approximately 12.57 p.m., at least in the proximity of the home. And then these photographs taken at 1.03 p.m., and then these posts made shortly thereafter. Is that Correct. Right? Okay, and you said they went Christmas tree shopping after that? Yes. Okay, we're able to tell from location history when that occurred. Yeah, on the, I'm sorry, the evening of the 26th. Okay. Now, did you find any other pictures or videos of the murder weapon after they returned home from Christmas shopping? There was one more. And this is Exhibit 96. This is 6.39 p.m. on November the 26th, 2021. This was found on the defendant's phone, is that right? Yes. I'm sorry, the defendant's son's phone, thank you. Yeah. The, sh this is on the, the shooter's phone. Based upon your investigation, that was the six hour nine millimeter? Yes, it was. Did you also find a picture on Jennifer's phone of the nine millimeter and another firearm owned by James Crumbly? Yes. This is exhibit 97. What are we looking at here? That's the, the six hour at the bottom part of the screen, and on the top is a Caltech firearm, and then the magazines and a gun lock. So, are you aware of what was provided to James Crumbly when he purchased the weapon on November the 26th? I was, uh, a gun lock was provided in uh, the magazines for the gun. As well as that ATF pamphlet underneath it? Correct. Now the video that we saw that was taken at um, 6.39 p.m., that's the video on the shooter's phone. Correct. Okay. Now I'm going to show you exhibit 98 here. This is at 6.27 p.m., November the 26th, James Crumley location. Are you able to tell where he was at that time? He was, the, the vice show's near his house, at his house. I think that move on to the next day of November the 27th, 2021. Could you get an idea of what the defendant, his wife, and their son were doing that day? Yes. Okay. Now, what of significance to you? Uh, Jennifer and the shooter went to the gun range that day. And were there any uh, social media posts made after the trip to the gun range? Yes. Is that both by the shooter as well as Jennifer Crumbly? Yes, it Direction was. Direction leading. Foundation on okay. we'll, we'll go one by one. Here is, first of all, um, for a timeline, Exhibit 99, what are we looking at here? That the purple is Jennifer and at the house at 1.58 p.m. Right. on the 27th. And here is Exhibit 100. What do we see here? That's a, uh, the target that was at, uh, used at the shooting range, um, posted by the defendant, or uh, the shooter. Took my new SIG out to the range today. Definitely need to get used to the new sites, LOL. Okay. And date and time when this was posted? That was at 19.02 or 2.02 p.m. Okay. And that's November 27th, 21, correct? Correct. Now, uh, this is Exhibit 101. This is... Jennifer Crumley's Instagram post, what do we see here? Uh, she posted her, the target that she had shot and posted with it, Mom and Sunday testing out his new Xmas present. My first time shooting a 9mm, I hit the bullseye. Okay. So that is how close in time in relation to what her son posted? Within one minute. Another photograph here, same post? Yes. Same time? 
Yes, it is. Okay. And finally, what do we see here? That's the Sig Sauer handgun right there with the magazines and the pamphlet. So because all three indicate Mom and Sunday testing out his new Xmas present, my first time shooting a 9mm, I hit the bullseye. Does it indicate those three pictures were posted together? Yes, they were. Here's exhibit 102 here. This is at this is 2 or 3 p.m. What do we see here? This is uh, Jennifer uh, at her house at 927 at 2 or 3 p.m. Okay, so that's practically the same time those photographs, those posts were, were um, those images were posted? Correct. Okay. So the fact that they were posted on her device or her social media accounts through her device and we have a device location here, what does that mean to you? That she was at her house when she put, made that post. And were you able to tell if James Crumbly saw these images? Yes. Here's Exhibit 103. What are we looking at here? This is um, extra data information from the cell phone extraction. And again, back to the file path that I talked about, you can see the third line down in the second column. You see um, com.facebook.katana slash cache, showing, indicating that it's in the cache folder. Okay. So like the, the screenshot of... A, uh, Smith & Wesson 9mm sent by his son to him. These images were also found in the cache folder? Correct. Now, we will obtain, obtain data locations from James Crumley's Gmail account for November the 27th, 2021. Yes. Okay, and that help you identify what he, where he was that day? Yes. Okay. So we'll go through exhibits 104 through 107. Here's 104. Um, what do we see here? Uh, it shows James' location. Uh, it's near the gas station of the Meyer uh, uh, at Ray Road in 24. Okay, and we already talked about at this point in time he was working for DoorDash. Correct. And um, we, always, we already identified the fact that when there was an order ready, he would receive a text message from the DoorDash app? Correct. Okay, so were you able to tell what he was doing that day? He, yes. What was he doing? He was door dashing, delivering. Okay. So 9.37 a.m. indicates one position where he's at, and looks like he's back home at 5.32 p.m.? Correct. And here's exhibit 106. It's about 6.03 p.m. He's out of the house then? Correct. Okay. And 6.33 back home? Correct. Now, what about Jennifer's locations from that day? Were you able to obtain any idea where she was that day? Yes. Okay. This is Exhibit 108. What do we see here? Uh, it's the purple dots indicating Jennifer's locations. Okay. So we have um, 2.29 p.m. to 3.32 p.m. and locations outside of the home that would indicate what to you? She was at home. Okay. She was at, out and about. Okay. Just to make sure I'm clear, on the 27th, we see James currently leaving home about 9.37 a.m., returning at 5.32 p.m., Leaving again at 6.03 p.m., home again at 6.33 p.m. Correct. And the same day, Jennifer's gone from about 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Correct. Now, Sunday, November the 28th. This is Exhibit 109. Tell us what we're looking at here. That is a GPS location for Jennifer on uh, November 28th at 12 p.m. So she's obviously away from her home. Uh, do you know what's at this location? Yeah, that's where the horse farm is. Okay. Now, you say horse farm. You went through all of the digital evidence in this case. Correct. Okay, including the Facebook messages between James and Jennifer. Correct. And messages from James to anyone else or Jennifer to anybody else. Correct. Okay. Um, are you aware of James and Jennifer spending time at the horse farm? Yes, sir. Okay, and tell me how you're aware of that. Your Honor, I'm going to object to relevance. We addressed this, Judge. You addressed it in your earlier um, opinion as well. I, I, think, I think you did. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to allow it. I think your objection was to wait that in the civility. Thank you, Judge. Do you, how are you able to, to know that, Judge? By how many times they talked about whether I'm going to the barn to do this or work on that this horse or take care of that horse, yes. Okay. Um, give us an idea of how many times they were talking about it. They talked, it was mentioned within their chats 86 times of going to the barn. Oh, I'm sorry, what period of time? That was from January to November. 